Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your Name Hero email into your Gmail account. So this is for those of you that have your web hosting with us here at Name Hero and want to be able to check your emails from that hosting package inside of your Gmail. So I have another tutorial that I did on our YouTube channel that talks about how to forward your email. Uh, the problem we see with forwarding is if you get a lot of spam email, it also forwards that spam to Gmail. So to Google, it looks like that you're actually spamming them and not sending legitimate email. So it actually looks like you're a bad guy. And then what happens is they end up rejecting all the mail from you. So in my other video tutorial, I talked about how to add a spam filter to that forward. So if you are sending forwards, which can be okay, but if you are getting a lot of spam, you have to actually eliminate that spam first uh, to make sure that you are forwarding just legitimate mail and not getting on Google's bad list. The other option to this though, is to actually plug your email account right into Gmail. So when you go into your Gmail, it actually pulls the email from the server and then you can see it all in one spot. So I know depending on your preference, you might want to do it either way, but I do want to give you plenty of options here so you do have that. The other final option is, and I'm not going to demonstrate here, but I do have tutorials on our YouTube channel and throughout the Name Hero site, is to set up G Suite. G Suite, or used to be Google Apps, um, that will actually allow you to have Gmail on your domain. So for example, um, if I set it up on Name Hero, then that means all emails at Name Hero will be handled by Google, and I'll actually have a Gmail interface for, say, Ryan at Name Hero, and it's all handled that way. The thing about G Suite is that what a lot of people don't like is it's $5 a month per user, and um, that gets a little expensive. Back in the old days, about nearly a decade ago, it's hard to believe it's been that long, um, but it used to be a free feature. Google used to allow companies and organizations to set that up for free, and they grandfathered in those accounts, but all new ones have to pay. So understand that may not be for a lot of people. That's why we have this need to forward to Gmail or this need to plug in our account. So if you don't want to buy G Suite and set that up, I completely understand. I'm going to show you how to add your emails to your Gmail. So if you want to follow along, right now I'm on the main page of Name Hero, and I'm just going to hover over account and click log in. It's going to take me here. I've already done it here to save a little bit of time in this video. And next, I need to go into the C panel of the account that I'm wanting to set up. So today I'm going to be using our basic hosting, and so I only have one C panel with our basic hosting. If you're a reseller or a VPS customer, then you need to actually log into the C panel of the account you're wanting to set up. So I'm going to navigate to my basic hosting package and I'm going to first click on cloud web hosting and today I'm going to be using keydiets.com my plus cloud package so I'm going to click on that and under actions I'm going to click login to cPanel so once inside of here this is where I can um, create the email account and then also import it into Gmail so the first thing I want to do is create my email account that I want to use inside of Gmail. So I'm just going to type in email here, and you can see lots of different options. So I'm going to use email accounts, though, because I want to actually create it. So if I look down here, or email accounts, click on this tab, you can see no email accounts are set up by default. You actually have to create those yourself. So I'm going to go to add an account, and I want to set up um, whatever I want my email address to be. So me, I'm just going to use Ryan. Um, I'm going to use this to generate a secure password, which you should too. Um, one of the, one of the uh, number one things we see about email accounts that get compromised is their password was not strong. So make sure that it says this password strength is 100, which meets or exceeds the requirement of 65. Um, I know it's a pain in the butt to remember all these, but what I recommend doing is using some type of password manager on your computer to save these um, because you definitely don't want to use the same email password that you use somewhere else. That would be a, a big security um, hole there. So then you want to verify it just by typing in or pasting it in from here. Next is the quota. This is the number of emails that you want to store in the account or the amount of space you want it to use. Because remember, this is actually using the web space of your, um, of your Name Hero package. I'm on the Plus Cloud package, and it allows for unlimited disk space. Let's see. Let me get back over here to it. 
let's see here, web hosting. Okay, so you can see it It allows for unlimited storage, but if I hover over here, I'm allowed 250,000 inodes, and that's 250,000 files. Well, emails can use up a lot of files because essentially each email is a file um, that comes in, so you don't wouldn't wanna use that up, so it's good to define a quota. Also, if you have other people in your organization that don't like to check their email, you can find one or two accounts can eat up everything. So setting this to unlimited is a really bad idea. Um, a thousand megabytes, that's one gigabyte of data. You know, I think that's good. You could go a little higher or whatever, but I think, you know, any more than this, then the user needs to look at actually deleting some emails. Okay, so I'm just gonna click create account. All right, it has been created. So now I can click on view. And you can see, right, at Key Diets is created, my usage and my quota. I can access webmail. I can show my disk and quota. I can manage suspension if I need to suspend the email, if the email is sending out spam. Password and authentication. I could connect devices. So this is what I want to do, is I want to set up my mail client, which is going to be Gmail. So this page here, it says set up mail client for Ionic Key Diets. This has all the settings that I need for different mail clients. A lot of our customers, they like to use, you know, their iPhone, uh, their Mac mail, uh, Windows Live mail, or Outlook, or Outlook Express. So if you do, you can just click here, and it will automatically set them up. You know, you want to use IMAP over SSL or TLS. Um, if it's me, that's what I like to use, um, or POP3 over SSL or TLSL. Um, I don't recommend just these basic IMAPs because these aren't using SSL, and that's a bad idea because you you could um, easily get your mail intercepted that way. So you always want to use SSL and TLS. Um, but for my example, we're not going to use these clients. We're going to use Gmail. So let's go over here. So I've got a demo um, Gmail account here. And so basically what this is going to do is I'm going to put my Ryan at keydiets.com email inside of here. So when anyone's emailing Ryan at keydiets.com, it's going to come right in here to my Gmail so I can see it. So it just makes everything go into one spot so I don't have multiple emails to log into. So to do this, I'm going to click on this cog right here and click on settings. So it just takes a second to come up here. And once I get here, I need to look for accounts. So let's see here, accounts and import. So right here and down here, check mail from other accounts. So right now it's set up by default. It's going to use my um, outbound Gmail address is what it's going to use to send email. Now I'll show you how to add another one here in a little bit. But the first thing you want to do is add a mail account. So I'm going to click add a mail account. All right, so this I need to add the email address. So I'm going to go back to my window here. And my email address is, of course, ryan at keydiets.com. So I'm going to copy this, paste it here, next. Okay, so now I can link account with Gmailify, um, which you can see it's not available for this provider because it's not compatible with us here at Name Hero. So what we can do is use POP3 to import them. So we already talked about how we have IMAP and POP3 enabled, so you can use either one. Um, so in this case, what our Gmail is going to do, it's automatically going to pull the emails off of our server so they're in our Gmail. So this will keep you below your quota because it's actually going to pull them off the Name Hero server and keep them inside of Gmail. Click on Next. So here we can enter our credentials. So we have our email address, our username. So we go back here, and here we like to use these settings right here because it makes it simple. So again, our username is simply our email address. So we'll just paste that in here. Our passwords, what we created earlier. Remember, we made it nice and strong, so please write yours down. And next, we need, we need to enter the POP server. So this is a server that Gmail is going to pull it from. And we just go over here and look for that mail.keydiets.com makes it pretty simple. Go back, and you can see it already enters for me. Our port, this is gonna be the port of Gmail. So we go back here and we can see our POP3 port is 995. So we went to enter 99, or select 995 from the dropdown. Now here's a couple options. Leave a copy of retrieve message on the server. So this will actually leave a copy on the Name Hero server. I don't recommend doing this. You know, if you're wanting to put it inside of Gmail, put it inside of Gmail. You know, do one or the other because with POP3, it's easy to get emails going everywhere. So I don't recommend le leaving a copy, but it's up to you. But remember, it's going to eat off your web space and fill it up and you have to manually delete it and all that. So why leave a copy? Always use a secure connection. Absolutely. We always want to click that. Label the incoming messages. Well, this way, when you're getting email in your regular Gmail to your regular Gmail address, you'll know this people actually emailed you from 
your website. And so this is a way to kind of keep business and personal separate. So if your website's your business, but your email's personal, this way you know it's it's a business email. So I'm gonna click label it. And so you can create a new one or just use the default, which is gonna be the address. So I like to just use the default. So I, if I have multiple emails, then I, I know, um, you know what they're coming to. So if I owned an e-commerce store, I might have support sales and billing. And that way I know what the kind of what the subject of the mailing is gonna be. Um, archive incoming messages. This means it's going to skip your inbox and it's going to go to all mail. So if you're familiar with Gmail, this is the inbox. And then once you, once you archive it, so we click here and we can archive it here or we can delete it. It's going to put everything in the archive automatically. So I like to put it in the inbox. That way I can see it. I don't like to skip the inbox. I don't like that option for me personally. Click add account. It's going to take a second. Your mail account has been added. You can now retrieve email from this account. Would you like to be able to send mail as Ryan at Key Diet? So as I mentioned, in our settings, it's going to automatically set up to where it's just our um, basic Gmail. So even though the mail is coming into Gmail, if we reply, it's still going to use Gmail to reply. So if you're running a business or a website, you probably want to set this up. And it says you can always change it later, but you probably just want to set it up while you're into it. Um, that way when I reply from Key Diets, it looks like it's coming from Key Diets as well. So I'm going to click on Next, um, Name, and again, this is a dem demo account, so I'm just going to use my name. Um, email account to Ryan at Key Diets. Treat it as an alias, so this is going to this is going to make it look like it's coming from there um, rather than the Gmail. So let's read a little bit about this. Should I uncheck Treat as an alias in Gmail? When you add another email account to email address to Gmail for sending messages, Gmail treats it as the same as your original domain as an alias. But if you're sending behalf on a user, you might want to you might uncheck treat it as an alias box. So basically, this says that this will show that it's coming back from Ryan at Key Diets, but it's actually sending from Gmail. This might be just as fine for you to do an alias. So it's up to you, but you can treat this as an alias, or if you don't, you have to set up the outbound email settings. So this is up to you. Again, personal preference. Um, you know, treat it as an alias. It's going to typically treat it as your original one, but you're sending on behalf of another user. You might want to uncheck it. So um, if you don't want it to have any... Um, any recollection back to the Gmail. So you're, no one ever sees Gmail. You uncheck this and we'll set up the outbound settings. So again, up to you. Uh, it's personal preference. You know, if you want to have no trace of Gmail, then you want to set this up. If you don't mind it, then do it. Um, and we, all we do here is use this outgoing server. So uh, once again, we're using key, our mail at keydiets.com. We're actually, yes, we need to put that in here. And we need to get our port. Our port, outbound port is 465, so we're going to select that from here. Our username is, once again, ryan at keydiets.com, so it's going to be the same as our other username and password. And then, again, that password that we use, because we have SMTP off on, you have to use a username and password. And you want to use a secure connection using SSL, and you can see this is going to match our settings um, here. So go back to Gmail, click Add Account. It's going to correct them. And now, so now it's congratulations. We've located your other server and verified your credentials. One more step, a, confirm, a confirmation email has been sent. So let's see if it actually hit our Gmail yet. It did not yet. So let's go to our webmail. And let's grab our verification. We'll go to Horde. Okay, and we still don't have it yet. So we'll just give it a few minutes here. And I'll, I'll just pause this video while we wait on it. Okay, and I finally got the email here, and you can see it actually came to my Gmail. So it actually was already ported in here for me. So that's good that that part is working. So I'm going to click on here. Well, this is the wrong one. This is around here, the um, Gmail confirmation. So I actually have to add this code right here. So they do, do this to make sure the legitimate owner of Key Diet is doing this, and so it's not someone random. So I'm going to enter in my code here, paste it, verify. All right, and that should have me set up. So now if I go to settings and I go to accounts, you can see that I can send mail as both my, this is just my example address, so my example, but I can also send as my key diets, not as an alias. 
So sending it as an alias would still send it from the actual Gmail. So this way it just keeps everything separate. It's actually going to send through Name Hero's server and not Gmail's server. So this is up to you. Again, you can do it either way. Um, if you wanted to delete, you can. You can make it default. So then all the all the email from this Gmail would use this as default. I don't really recommend doing that because most of the time if you're adding it to your Gmail, you're doing that because it's maybe your personal Gmail and you want to keep it that way. You just want to add this in there to it. So now though, I can receive my key diets and you can see the label that we set up is now shows on here. So I can easily see when I get, you know, regular email, it doesn't have that. So I can kind of, you know, organize my email based off of that. When I go to compose new email, I now have a new option that I can click on the from. So I can choose my regular one or I can choose on my from and send it that way. So that's how you do it. That's how you actually add your email account into Gmail without doing the forwarding. As I mentioned, you know, when you are forwarding, you're forwarding everything. So if you get a lot of spam, then Google starts to think, well, you know, they're spamming me. They're not, um, you know, it's not a legitimate forward. So then you run into issues where they want to blacklist you, block the mail and all that. So if you are forwarding, you can do that, but you need to set up good spam filters and make sure that, you know, if you are still getting spam, that you do something about it before it reaches the Gmail server. The other option, of course, is this actually import that email inside of Gmail. A lot of our customers choose to do this as well, just so it kind of keeps things separate and, um, you know, keeps everything in, in the way they want to use it for their business. My last option would be to use that G Suite or G Apps or Google Apps. And we've got some tutorials on our site how to do that. The only downfall to that is it does cost $5 a month per user. So if I wanted to have Ryan at keydiets.com, you know, I would have to actually pay Gmail directly $5 a month for that. You know, a lot of people that are already buying their hosting, they say, well, you know, I'm already paying whatever for my hosting. I don't want to add another expense. So completely up to you, but those are your options. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, we certainly would appreciate a thumbs up. I do recommend subscribing to our YouTube channel. Channel. We're all the time posting random stuff about web hosting, about reseller hosting and VPS hosting, um, you know, to make sure you have a good experience with your hosting package here at Name Hero. Um, and also feel free to share this video. You know, we certainly appreciate that. So thanks so much for watching and using us here at NameHero.com.